Hey guys, welcome to the third and hopefully final part of this series. So in the last video we finished up the home page of our hosting website and we also did the service pages which were pretty easy because they're all pretty much the same. Uh, now we want to do the about, contact, and the, the login modal. So let's go and create a new file called about.html and we're going to copy what we have in one of the service files. So let's go to shared HTML and copy that. Okay, and then we'll paste that in about. And just like we did with the other pages, we're going to change the title about. All right, now these pages are in the, the top nav here, which don't have a, cl um, a current class, so we just want to get rid of the current class on this menu. Okay, and then down here, let's see, we're going to get rid of this. Oh, did I put class about I shouldn't have did that <laughs> oh oh well that's fine so we'll just leave it how this is because it's in the right place now um, but we're going to get rid of everything within let's see this row right here we want to get rid of this row with the packages so let's see where does this end ends right here so we'll just grab this and get rid of it okay and then for the h2 let's change that to about or about us and then in the p tag we'll just say we'll say who are we all right and let's see down here what we want to do is split it into two columns so we're going to say div class and let's say columns large six um, medium six okay we'll copy that so this side's just gonna have the image of that person so we'll say image source and that's gonna be img slash person one dot jpeg is it a jpeg yeah I think so and then on this side, we're just going to have some text. So let me just grab that. Okay, so we have an H3, a paragraph, H3 paragraph. And then the final H3 paragraph is going to be wrapped in a div with the class of callout and primary. So let's go ahead and save that. All right, and we'll go to the about. Okay, and then that's it. It's done. <laughs> There's no extra CSS or anything. All right, so now we're going to go and do the support or the contact page. So let's create a file here called contact.html. And we're going to copy the about page and paste it. All right, and then we'll go and change the title. Contact and make sure there's no current class and then in here let's see what do I want to do we want to we are going to keep it in two columns so we can just kind of get rid of what we have inside of these and let's see let's put well first of all let's change the text say contact us get in touch and we're going to put the form tag right here and then we'll end it right here okay and then in here we're going to put label we'll say name and then we'll put the input give it a type of text and let's also give it a placeholder. Um, and we'll just say name. And then we're going to close the label. All right, let's take a look at that. So if we go to contact or support rather. All right, so there's our input. Now I'm just going to copy this. 
and underneath it we'll paste another one and then this is going to be company so we'll say company name and under that uh, under that we're going to put the submit button okay now the submit button doesn't it can go anywhere inside of a form it doesn't have to be at the bottom as long as it's within the form tag okay so we'll say button type submit and then value submit and then on this side in this six column div I'm gonna paste another input and label and this is gonna be for email and then we'll have another one for phone and then another one for message okay but this one's gonna be in uh, text area so let's replace input with text area we don't need a type and then it also has to have a closing tag okay we'll change this all right let's save it okay there's our form wait where's our button oh i didn't put an ending button tag What? Button type equals submit. Value equals submit. Am I going crazy? What the hell? Oh, I put value. That's it's not an input, it's a button. Alright. Uh, and let's give it a class as well. We'll give it a class of secondary or button secondary there we go okay so I want to add a background to this as well so let's put a callout class on the form itself and we have to make this overflow auto or overflow hidden for this to go around the whole thing so let's go to our custom SCSS and down here at the bottom we'll go right above the footer and say dot callout and we want to set overflow to auto reload there we go all right, so the last thing we have to do is the login. Okay, the login is going to be the foundation uh, modal or reveal so that we click on it and it kind of just pops up. So let's go to the documentation and we'll go to reveal. And this is what we want to do. So basically, we would have a link with the data open and that's going to open up whatever we put in here and that has to match this right here and then whatever content we put inside will be in the in the modal so I believe if we go to our index and we look at the login right here it already has the data open login modal so what we'll do is copy this and we're going to put this down at the bottom. Now it's not going to show until we click the actual link, but I just want to put it down under the footer. Okay, and then we just want to change this to login modal. And let's test that out. Okay, we'll save it. And let's see. Whoop, that's, that's the finished one. So if we click client login, we get that. So now we just need to change the content inside. All right, so let's see. We're going to change the H1 to client login. And then we're going to have a form. So we can get rid of this stuff here. Okay, we're going to have a form. And let's get, actually, that doesn't need any attributes. And let's do div. I just want to separate the fields with a, a row class.
Okay, so in here we'll just put uh, label and then our input type text and let's give it a placeholder and for the placeholder we'll just say username okay and then in this one we'll have the password okay let's change the type to password all right and then under that row class we're going to do a remember me so we're going to put in a span uh, span let's see let's give it a class we want it to float left so float left is a bootstrap class and then I'm also going to give it a class of uh, remember and then in here we'll say uh, remember me alright so let's look at that so far okay now for the switch because that's what this is gonna be is a switch um, let's see right here switch okay so this is what it is let's go ahead and copy this and I'm gonna put that right there And let's see, what are we going to change here? I'm going to change it from example switch to remember switch. Okay, so we have to change that in all, all places. Okay, download kittens. Nope. Remember me. Okay, and then after the switch we're gonna put in our button so button type submit and login and that should do it let's try it out okay client login there we go let's put a space at actually after the remember let's put a little bit of margin there so in our CSS We'll do remember and let's say margin right four pixels. There we go. Um, that should wait a minute. That should have a close. Why does that not have a close button? I mean, we can just click outside, but I thought that it did have an icon. Let me just go back to the documentation Let's see reveal yeah this one hasn't has it oh right here let's grab that we'll put it right here all right let's try that there we go so now we have the close button and for the button the login button right here we want to put we want to give that a class of button All right, so we are done. So we've now created, now the client login isn't gonna work on the other pages unless you put the, um, the modal code in there as well. So you have to copy this and then put that at the bottom of every page. Okay, so if you, had, if you were using like PHP or something like that, you could use includes so you wouldn't have to do this if you use some kind of templating system or something like that but this is more of a just a front end HTML CSS type um, type of project so we're not doing any of that so we do have to include it on every page alright but that'll do it guys 
I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, uh, this project, and hopefully you learned something, whether it was Foundation CLI or SAS or one of the technologies we used. Um, but hopefully you liked it. If you did, please subscribe if you're not already subscribed uh, and leave a like or a dislike if you didn't like it. And that's it. Thanks for watching.